What's up and welcome to my YouTube channel. So, today we are going to talk about Shopify. Shopify tutorial for beginners. How to set up a profitable Shopify store step by step in 2024. Intro. Hey everyone, welcome to today's tutorial on how to set up a profitable Shopify store set up in 2024. If you're new, to Shopify or e-commerce, don't worry. I'll be guiding you throughout the entire process. So by the end of, the, of this video, you'll learn or you'll have your very own online store ready to start yelling and selling. Let's dive in. So step one, signing up for Shopify. The first thing you need to do is sign up for Shopify account, head of Shopify.com, and click the Start Free Trial button. You'll be asked to enter your email address, a password, and your store name. Try to choose a store name that reflects your brand, your brand, and is easy to remember. But don't worry, if you can always, you can always change it later. Once you've entered your details, click. Create your store. Shopify will take you through a quick setup process where you'll need to enter some basic information about your business. Once that's done, you'll be taken to your Shopify Shopify dashboard. This is where all the magic happens. Step two. Step two. Exploring the Shopify dashboard. Now that you're in the dashboard. Let's take a quick tour. On the left hand side, you'll see a menu with keys, areas like orders, products, customers, and analytics. The dashboard is where you'll manage everything from your products to your marketing and sales. It may seem a little overwhelming at first, but don't worry. You start using it you'll get the hang of it. For now, let's move on to setting up your store. Step three, choosing a Shopify theme. Next, we need to choose a theme for your store. This will determine the, over, the overall look, feel of your website. Head over to online store. In menu, click themes. Click themes. Shopify offers a wide range of free and paid themes. If you're just getting started, I recommend sticking to a free theme like Debat or Down. These are both clean, professional, and easy to customize. Once you've chosen your themes, click Customize to start personalize, personalizing on it. Right, start personalizing on it. There, here, you can change things like the layout, fonts, and colors. I suggest sticking to a simple, simple design that's easy to navigate. Don't go overboard. With too many colors or fonts, with too many colors or fonts, a clean professional look builds trust with you customer like any other business professional look will build the trust with your customers step four now it's time to it's time to add products to your store click on products in the left menu then add product this is where you'll enter all the details about your product including the title description price and images when writing product description Make sure they are clean, they are clear and detailed. Highlight the benefits of your products and why it's unique. If possible, include keywords that customers might search for your product, of your product and why it's unique. It's possible to include keywords that customers might research for. 
high quality images are also essential are essential too uh, customers want to see exactly what they are buying so upload multiple multiple images from different angles you can also set up set the price and manage inventory here if you are selling products physical uh, products make sure you enable the track quantity option to show so shopify can automatically update your stock levels step 5 step 5 setting up setting up payments next let's set up payments methods to do this click on settings at the bottom at the bottom left hand menu then go to payments go to payments shopify offers several payments gateways including shopify payments paypal and other third party providers like stripe and other third party providers like swipe so shopify payments is the easiest options is the easiest option since it's built into the platform but you can also enable paypal if you want to offer customers more options simply connect your paypal account and you're good to go make sure you set up taxes and shipping as well as as well we're going to the taxes and shipping section in the settings step six configuring shipping settings speaking of shipping let's set up let's set up next go to settings and click on shipping and delivery here you'll configure your shipping zones rates and methods you can set up free shipping flat red shipping or calculating shipping based on weight or location if you're offering free shipping make sure to build that cost into your product pricing you can also set up custom shipping rates for different regions or countries if you're not sure shopify has some built-in recommendation to get you started launching your store step seven launching your store once your products uh, step seven launching your store okay once your product payments and shippings are set up you're almost ready to launch before you do i recommend taking few minutes to review your store settings double check your product listings test your process and make sure everything looks good on both your desktop and mobile devices as you know uh, how it looks on the mobile devices sometimes change changes when you're using the desktop so make sure it looks good on both once you're happy with everything it's time to go live make sure you're happy with your, uh, with how you have set up because it's, it starts to do with you once you get a good feeling it's a go to go live head to settings then domains to add your custom do, uh, domain you can buy a domain directly through Sh Sh shopify or connect one you've already purchased elsewhere once that's done your store is officially live step eight marketing your shopify store now that your store is live you need to get some traffic shopify has built in marketing sections where you can run campaigns integrate your social media accounts and set up email marketing you can also create discount codes run sales and track your performance data through the keyboard okay through the keyboard don't forget to optimize your store uh, such as search engines seo by using by using relevant keywords 
in your in your product descriptions meta descriptions and urls okay uh, don't forget to optimize your store for search engines uh, seo by using relevant keywords in your product descriptions meta descriptions and urls this will help potential customers find your store more easily through google and other search engines and number 10 or the outro step 8 is the last one so for my last point that's it you've officially set up your shopify store and you're ready to start selling make sure to subscribe to my channel for more shopify tutorials and e-commerce tips if you have any questions drop them in the section in the comment sections section and i'll see you in the next video thank you for watching cheers